No one really ever tells you this about growing up, but as you get older, your expectations for life sort of change. Oh God, oh God. Ambition. I want to talk a little bit about this word right here. Ambition, because ambition is so important in life. It's the thing that helps drive us forward. It's the thing that helps us succeed. It's the thing that helps us set goals that mean that we get to where we want to be in life. But I've observed something about my ambition as I've got older, and I want to share it with you and see if it feels familiar. Because on the back of here, we've got a graph. We've got our x-axis, which says age, and our y-axis, which shows ambition. And I have noticed that when I was young, my ambition was all the way up here, right at the top of where it could be. And as I've got older, my ambition has incrementally gone down and down to the point where I'm at where I am now, here at the tender age of 33, where my ambition isn't where it was before when I was a child. That's what it feels like from my point of view at least. When you're young, when you first enter the world, you are at your most naive. You haven't experienced much of the world yet, so you don't know what is possible and what isn't possible. And I think that's why when you're young, your ambition is all the way up here, or at least that was the case for me. When I was this age here, maybe around five years old, I was probably at my most ambitious. And if you'd have asked me at five years old what I wanted to be when I grow up, I'd have probably only had one answer for you. A Power Ranger. Morphin time! When I was younger, I didn't realise that being a Power Ranger wasn't possible. I didn't actually realise that what was happening on TV wasn't real. So as far as I was concerned, when I was younger, being a brightly coloured, lycra-clad superhero was the pinnacle of being an adult. So if when I was five years old I wanted to be a Power Ranger, by the time I got to ten, I wanted to be a wrestler after watching Stone Cold Steve Austin for the very first time. And by the time I got to about fifteen, I wanted to be a rock star. Believe it or not, that was the sound of me singing in my band Auto Machine when I was 15, 16 years old. And if you don't believe me, here's a picture of me and my good friend Rob performing at the iconic Cambridge venue, Man on the Moon. As the t-shirt and tie combination suggests, we weren't very good. By the time I was 20, I'd given up on the idea of being a rock star, but I didn't give up on the idea of performing, so I tried to become a comedian. I don't know if any of you know what a gong show is, but basically you've got to last on the stage five minutes without getting gonged off. And I managed to, and I went home and I told my girlfriend, and within five minutes she put on Facebook, well done John, for lasting five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's even worse is my mum didn't know that I was doing a gong show, and she liked the status. <laughs> Before commenting, saying, he must have been drunk. And that's not okay. <laughs> Fast forward to about six years ago and I've decided that it's too much hard work to perform in front of people. It's much easier to just talk to a camera and edit what you're gonna say. So I decide I'm gonna try and be a YouTuber. And if we get up to now, we're probably at the point where I just don't want my back to not hurt when I wake up in the morning. That's what I'm going for now. You got your own style, you got the sort of, the sort of look there, haven't you? Sort I've got like, a, like a look. You've got, you've got these slightly, um, uh, Aging skateboarder. Aging skateboarder. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you, you, you used to hit the skate park when you were younger, and now so you probably could still do it, but you might break your hip. In Christmas 2001, my parents bought me a PlayStation 2. So somewhere in this gap here, and when they bought me that PlayStation 2, they bought me a Game 
called Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 with eight massive living levels that let you trick off of everything. Now I played that game every single hour of that Christmas day, mostly because I didn't have a memory card so I couldn't turn it off and save it, but I was completely transfixed by the game and by the idea of skateboarding. So there was a period of time in about 2002 to say 2003 where I wanted to be a skater. My ambition was to learn how to skate. Me and my friends bought some skateboards and they were just cheap skateboards and we would like wax curbs and we would like pretend we were grinding yeah. on them. But I never actually learned how to skateboard but I still dress. Yeah. I dressed then like I might skateboard and I've continued to dress a little bit like I might skateboard. I, it's weird it does feel like a thing that you do as a child. I know people yeah. do it as an adult. Me and all my friends got into all things skating like tech decks, Tony Hawk's games and dressing like skaters which I kind of still do. Look this is a skate belt. I, I, I'm a 33 year old man who still wears a skate belt. But then one day it all went wrong. My ambition to become a skateboarder ended quite quickly. I went to a skate park. It was quite ballsy of me to be fair. And yeah. I got, went on top of one of the biggest ramps. I don't know, I, I, this story, I, I've told it to someone recently and they were like, where were your parents? And I was like, I actually don't know where any adults were here because no one stopped me. I then went onto the top of the ramp and I tried to drop in and I instantly fell and I bashed my knee and I thought, okay, well, I, I'm not going to do yeah. skateboarding and I, I wrote it off. So now... Just think, if you'd nailed that one thing, you might have gone on to become... Might have been a Hall. flourishing career. <laughs> I think I nailed that. Right, I have decided that today I'm going to try and learn how to skate. More specifically, I want to learn how to ollie. Ollie, for anyone who doesn't know, is how to jump on your skateboard. So I've come to the skate park I went to as a kid once. Yeah, I really don't know if this is a good idea. I've also come here today with my friend Rob from, Rob from Auto Machine. <laughs> I think I know what that means. So Rob is one of the people I tried to learn how to skate with when I was younger and we would come here and we would like sometimes go and wax curbs in other places uh, and Rob got a bit further ahead than me didn't you? You actually learned how to skate. A little bit, yeah. You could do some tricks. Yeah, a couple. So we're now two 33 year old blokes in a empty skate park in our home village trying to learn how to skate. Well Rob might be able to teach me some things. I think one of the things you're supposed to do when you get into skating is just get used to being on the board. So maybe I just need to try and skate around here and see how that feels. Please do not use the skate park after 9 p.m. where the reality is is Rob and I have come here when kids are in school because we don't want the kids taking the piss out of us. From what I understand in principle you have to kick Ooh. from what I understand you have to kick pop it up and then slide your other foot along so that the board sort of levels out and then land on it. Does that sound right? Nice. I wanted to make this video to prove that you're never too old to try things, but now I really suddenly feel like I am. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Just go for it. This, just, this is just to see where we're at. Okay. Oh, not bad. Was that okay? Almost. Almost. Was that okay? I mean, it didn't count because you didn't stick it, but it was great. But did that come off? I think it pretty much did, yeah. It's a good way to lose <laughs> a microphone. I have to take my jumper off. So I don't know if you can see there, the shoes have already started to wear down and uh, the board is already getting some, some tack on it, but you're, you're doing all right, Rob. Oh. <laughs> it's almost pertinent me trying to talk about doing things as you get older because you were telling me yesterday that you're getting really into climbing. Yes, I mean, I've been doing that for like 10 years now, but... Um but I'm getting properly into it. Like the, the advancing uh, age and the, 
the, the clock ticking down does make you think, well, I only have a limited amount of time to get as good as I possibly can get at this before. before so, is it, so, so you would say that, that growing up and getting older had sort of motivated you to... Yeah, it's currently motivating me, yeah. That's good. So it doesn't have to be that as you get older you lack ambition. You can use getting older as the uh, source Absolutely of ambition. Not. Probably get a bit complacent when you're younger because you think you have all the time in the world. He didn't see that. I think I just did it. Did you? I think so. Yeah, I did it. I'm, I'm sick at skating. Did you ever do the... Um try the one where you just jump off the ground and land on the skateboard. Be a bit of a recipe for disaster. Didn't know that. I just call that the John where we come from. <laughs> Have you ever seen this thing that skaters do where they're like... Casual. Don't look at the camera. See, I'm still nervous from when I fell over when I was a kid and smashed my knee. Come on. Was that easy? Was that easy? I don't know. It's hard to say. I felt a bit unbalanced. Okay, I mean, it didn't actually look that high from down there. <laughs> it's wet up here. Yeah, maybe dry the wheels off first. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh you're right. <laughs> you're okay. God. I think that's me done for the day. But oh. Oh, do you know what future John will say something now? Oh. Over the course of the last few days, I've realised that perhaps I've been thinking about ambition all wrong. You see, when I was skating with Rob, I was having so much fun achieving something I never thought I was going to be able to achieve when I was younger. And what I realised is that that didn't happen because I was feeling ambitious, it happened because I was with a friend and because I was happy. And then I realised that perhaps this lack of ambition isn't actually a lack of ambition but an increased in contentedness, in happiness. I don't feel like I have to be a rock star to be happy like 16 year old me did. I don't know if that makes sense. Whoa, that was huge. Massive. Ambition is a good thing. It is still the thing that's going to propel us forward in life, but it doesn't replace spending time with friends and being happy. So maybe that's what I need to focus on going forward. I think it's also quite nice to know that you're never too old to try something new. So I think I'm a skateboarder now, although I might retire after that fall. Are you okay? <laughs> oh no. Oh god.